So I literally just got done watching the final episode of JoJo's Part 1. And I gotta say, it was great. But I'll save my thoughts on the actual parts itself. I'll, 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 you guys can go check out that video if you want to see my thoughts on that. But today, we got a tier list, okay? I'm ranking every character from Part 1 of JoJo's, so let's jump right in. Alright, uh, um, I guess I'll just go in order here, I guess. I guess that's the best way to do it. So, um, damn, I think I'm gonna forget a lot of names. Uh, I think his name is Tarkus, I think. Um, so Jojo fought this guy with the sword, right? He, he gave the sword to Jojo. I actually thought Tarkus was a pretty in interesting character compared to his counterpart. Uh, what was his name? Bruford? Bl Bluford? I, I, I honestly don't remember. Um, but yeah, I thought, like, his, their, both of their backstories were cool. But I feel like how Tarkus ended up, like, going down with Jojo, like, I thought that was really, really cool, actually. I really did enjoy that a lot. Um, so just starting off, I think, I'm, I might change these as we go. But I think starting off, I think I can make a strong argument for Tarkus going in A. You know what I mean? Because I feel like he was a really strong character. And I like the way he died, you know what I mean? So I guess that's all I have to say about that. Um, the dog. I believe the dog's name is Danny, I think. Don't, don't, don't fry me in the comments if, if I get any of these names wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Danny, easily A. Do I really have to explain myself? Danny didn't deserve what he got. Like, by Dio. You know, you know? Did, Dio shouldn't have done that. But Dan, Danny did not deserve this. So, um, yeah, Danny, Danny, A, easily. And if you disagree with that, like, I can see you put Danny in S, but nothing below A. Like, come on. If you do, you just don't like dogs at that point. You're, you're, you're abused animals. That, you did it, not me. But um, next, what is this? Dio's dad? Can you blame me? Can you really blame me? Like, just look at the guy. Look at the guy. Yeah, you can pretty much expect him to be, like, to act exactly how he did act in the show. You can pretty much expect that. Just, just based off his looks. Like, 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 I don't like to judge people based on how they look, but just look at the dude. Like, he's he's going an ass, honestly. There's, like, I can't even see how, like, you would debate that, honestly. He was a terrible dad. Probably made Dio the way he is, honestly. I mean, hey. Hey. You know what I mean? Yeah, this loser's going an ass. Next we got Dio. I'm going to skip by him because I want to save him for later on. Because I feel like we can have an interesting discussion around Dio, honestly. Um, next I don't remember his name. I don't. It was he was alive for like an episode. So like, can can you really blame me? I mean, bro got frozen. Boom, because he thought he could take on Dio. Like, come on, man. You're not him. But um, I gotta think on this one for a little bit. Cause let's be real, he didn't really do much. He tried to take on Dio and got instantly destroyed, demolished. I feel like. He can go and see. Uh, we didn't see a lot of him, honestly. Because, like I said, he lasted for, like, an episode before he got murked off the face of the planet by Lord Dio. So, I mean, C, I guess. I, I don't really know where else I would put him, honestly. I mean, I thought I thought his death was cool, you know? He was trying to get get his ones in with Dio for Zapelli's, um, like, sake. But bro just died for nothing really he did not have to fight Dio like that if i'm being honest so yeah i think i think he's a c tier i could probably put him at d because we didn't see a lot of them but i'll leave him at c um next we have erina erina i think i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna put her in b and the reason i put her in b is solely for the last episode because we saw a lot from her in the last episode but before then we didn't really see a lot Except for like the early episodes, and um, even then, like I think like her best moment was when after Dio and uh, JoJo fought in the mansion, and then she was like tending to his wounds, or like, is that what she did? I think I think that's what happened, but I think that was like her best moment before then. Um, I brought up in my video after like when I was watching the last episode how JoJo or Dio completely violated her, put his tongue in her mouth uh, without her consent, but um. Yeah, I think she can go and be solely for the last episode because that moment between her and Jojo at the end there, it was really beautiful. I swear I was tearing up. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I haven't gone back to look at the recording. Um, but yeah, I, I was literally tearing up. I did not know it was going to be this sad. Jojo. Oh, here we go. Spoilers. I'm, I'm getting into my, uh, my thoughts on the episode. So 
if you haven't gone gone if you haven't gone and watched that video go watch that please really i really did enjoy that episode but yeah she can go in b tier i think i think that's pretty fair to leave her in b um next we have jojo's dad i don't remember his name honestly but i really did i i liked jojo's dad a lot actually i think we can also put him in b um we didn't see a lot of him but in that episode where he did die i feel like we saw like his character and who he was and he took in dio you know just l like it was nothing you know what i mean He's just this random guy off the off the not off the street but like i guess he owed his dad but still like he took in dio dio caused trouble um but yeah we we really did we we, we saw that jojo's dad was a good man um, i don't really have too much to say about him because we didn't see that much of him but um yeah yeah I, I um, I feel bad because Ro died, and you know, I just feel bad for JoJo. But yeah, I feel like we can put him in B. Now the next guy, I can't even lie to you guys. I don't, I don't remember who that is. I'm sorry, I don't. Hold on, hold on. No, it was none of these guys. Which one was it? Makima. Yeah, she's fine. But no, we're not talking about her. Okay, sure. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> so because because I can't remember him, he's got to be in the lowest tier, right? I, 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 geez, I really can't remember who this is. It's kind of making me mad. Whatever. 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 <laughs> um, We're going to skip over Jojo too. I want to save him and Dio for like together the baby is it the baby from the last episode is it i literally just watched it um is it they got the same color hair uh d because it's a baby we saw nothing from the baby erina saved the baby because she's a goat but we saw nothing from the baby. I don't even know why the baby's on this tier list, honestly. Found this off of the website. Like, I didn't make this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why the baby's here. You can't... I, I'd put the baby in the lowest tier, but I feel like that's almost messed up to do. So the baby's going to go in D. Um, next, we got Poco. Pa Paco? Poco? <laughs> um, I think Paco can go in B, actually. And the episode where JoJo was fighting... Bruford or Blueford, whatever the hell that guy's name was. Um, I was making fun of him because he he peed himself. <laughs> like, I'm I'm laughing thinking about it, but, but yeah, he peed himself. I don't I don't understand why. I, what about? I'm just talking. I do understand why he was he's a kid and he was scared. But I told him to just go home. But then he he manned up. You know, he climbed through the little vent thing and he opened the door for him. So yeah, I think that um really moved him up a little bit i really do i i think poco's a good kid and uh his sister she's a nice nice sister <laughs> she cares about poco and uh yeah i don't really think there's much to say about him because you know he didn't really do much but he was enjoyable there's nothing wrong with him i think honestly but um that leads us into our next character my goat speed wagon whoa oh never mind for a second, I thought I didn't see Zapelli on the list. But my goat speed wagon going up there in S. Now, I feel like some people will disagree with this, honestly. Um, but I personally, I just love Speedwagon's character. I love his, uh, his personality. Um, he didn't really do much. Like, like at, in battles, he didn't really participate. But, like, he was, he was always there for JoJo. Let's be real. He was really there for JoJo. After that second episode when they met, he was really just... He was always right there with JoJo going to fight Dio and stuff. I really do like Speedwagon for that, man. I really think he's a true friend of JoJo. And I really enjoyed his character throughout the entire, like, part one. Um, I really did. So I put uh, Speedwagon in S. Now, I, I feel like I can move him down to A, but at the same time, just because I love him so much, um, we're going to keep him in S. Um, is this the guy... That I thought was evil, the guy that was with um the master and then um this guy. 
Is this is this him? Because if it is, he's going down here. No, no, no. I'll put him in D. Because um, when JoJo was fighting off Dio, and then Tone Petty, I believe the master's name was, and that guy, they were fighting the zombies. I thought that was cool. He had like some one little attack. Uh, so yeah, he can go in D for that. If that if that scene was in there, he'd be in the in the bottom because we just didn't see a lot from him. But yeah, I got bad vibes from him when I first saw him. I don't know why. He just looks like a villain, I guess. But um, yeah, he goes in D. Um, Bruford or Blueford. I'm telling you right now, he's going in ass. I did not like him. He was annoying as shit. Um, yeah, I did not like him at all. I thought the way he fought was he was a bitch. Um, yeah, just just get down there and ask. I'm not even gonna explain myself. Tone Petty, I believe he he can go in a C because we didn't also didn't really see a lot from him. But he was also my goat Zapelli's master. So for that, he's gonna go and see. You know, um, he he showed up to help Zapelli. You know, he already knew Zapelli was gonna die, and uh, yeah, he showed up to support help uh beat Dio. But yeah, we didn't we didn't really see too much of him. But yeah, he seemed like a, a nice, cool guy. Um, now we got this zombie guy. What was it? Juan Chang? I don't know. Uh, they just said in the episode I watched. Um. Mm, nah, he's ass. L. He's an L minion or a henchman. He's a, he's he was trash. Literally in the last episode, Dio. They were they were rushing towards Jojo, and then Dio was like, "Oh no, Jojo is up to something. Stay stay back." And the guy's like. No, he's he's overestimating Jojo. I'm just gonna keep going. Like he's a dumbass. He deserved what he got. So like for that, he was he was L L L henchman. Um so yeah, he's going to ass. Um now that leaves me with the my with my favorite three characters from this part. Zapelli S. You know why? I just love his character so much. His sacrifice for Jojo was beautifully done. It, we, his little backstory, his, his, his reasoning for wanting to fight against the mass, I loved it all. He was the master to Jojo. He taught him Hammond. He had like this swagger to him. And I just, I really think that was, that was, um, it was just done so well, man. I feel like Zapelli is literally top three characters in this part. S tier, I don't think you can really argue that honestly. Maybe you can put them in A, but other than that, like S, man, S. Um <laughs> it's only right to leave JoJo for last. So we'll move on to my GOAT Dio. Dio, I would describe as just a villain. That's the only way you can describe Dio. Straight black air force energy the whole time. Bro would be up there on the on the on the little pillars or on the rocks, just standing there posing looking like a badass i just dio made this part so enjoyable i swear he is what a villain is like just pure pure hate you know what i mean like pure pure i don't even know what to like how to, how to describe it he's just he's just the definition of a villain and he really made this part like good I, I like if they didn't have a great villain like dio i feel like this part wouldn't have been as good you know what i mean um he was just a great character and he was a perfect um dynamic to jojo if that's the word i don't know um but yeah i, I feel like dio was written beautifully um his character i love it so much he, he's he's one of my favorite villains after nine episodes of watching it him he's one of my favorites already just like that so um yeah <laughs> i feel like it's easy to see how dio is up there and i feel like it's safe to say nobody will be mad that i put jojo as s he okay dio is the embodiment and definition of a villain and jojo is the definition of a hero he was literally his actions throughout the entire part one were just heroic man like he is a hero his set like his little sacrifice at the end I was I, I don't know if I can really call it a sacrifice, but you know I just it's just something about him. He's just it's just so heroic. And I feel so bad for him because so many things went wrong with his life. Is he just got married 
And then he died, man. Like, I really did feel bad. But he took it like a man. Time after time after time, he was faced with adversity. Ad adversity? That's, the, that's like adversity. <laughs> and he overcame it. So, man, I, at this point, I feel like I'm just rambling on. I think you guys get the point. These are the S characters. That's A. That's B. C. D. Mass. I don't think I would change a thing about this. Honestly. And I never, I never thought I would enjoy JoJo's as much as I did. Really. I, I, really, I really didn't think I would enjoy it like this. But I truly did. I'm glad I got into this series. I'm glad you guys are experiencing this journey with me. Um, let me know your thoughts and where you would place characters if you agree or disagree with my list. I know tier lists can be controversial, but um, everybody, not everybody will agree with me. But the, let, if you disagree, let me know your reasons in the comments because I love, like, you might give me a new perspective and I might move or lower a character. I remember specifically in an Attack on Titan tier list, someone wrote a comment and I was like, no, I actually agree with you. I think I would move this character down. So yeah, just, just, if you disagree, just give some reasoning, you know, this is my tier list, but obviously you guys have your own opinions. So yeah, I'd like to hear them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we are on to part two of JoJo's. I hope you guys are excited because I know I am. Catch you guys next time. Peace.